Wait, how you doing? So today, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a guitar action using capo, Allen key, some tape, and a card, credit card, or whatever. This is a Subway loyalty card, but any card like this will do the job. Now, I've done this already on one of my guitars, um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, if you're going to try it yourself, you won't hurt the guitar. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does work, which it did for me, um, let me know. This is the you heard it right. on the trigger. So I've got my um, 1981, I believe it is, Lawsuit Aria Strat, which I've had for a little while, um, and the action really does need sorting out. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Right, so hopefully you can see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the capo, one like this, and we're going to stick it on your first fret. Like there, like that. And then you're going to take your card and you're going to place it around 12th and 13th fret. Like this. Alright. Now, you can bend the card. Like so. And what you want to do is you want to bend it to the shape of the neck. Don't bend it too much so it doesn't raise in the middle, but so it's flush with the frets. This is the tricky bit. And once you get this in position, you're good to go. So, get some tape. Electrical tape's good because it's not, uh, it's low tack, so sellotape would be fine though or anything like that, really. <clears throat> and then you're going to put a piece on here. Like so. Piece on here, like so. And we're gonna bend this card to the shape of the neck. This one's got rolled edges, so it kind of needs to go quite away. And then you tape it underneath here. So. So it's in position and it's got the uh, curvature of the neck. Now what we do, I'm gonna make it straight actually. You can um, hold it as you're doing it as well. Um, so that just holds it in position and then we just, as we do this, we'll just put some pressure on it and make sure that it's not raising the wheel. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this string is really high. Um, so what we need to do is we need to take our Allen key, stick it in the saddle there, and wind that string down. Like that, until it's touching, barely touching the card. Let's <clears throat> go down one more. Just pinging on the on the card, so we'll tune that back up. Okay, so now all the string heights are adjusted, so the strings just barely touch the card. And if I take you over, and now it is really good. It's quite low, probably lower than I would like it. So what I might do is just take each and every one and just turn them half a turn um, and I'll show you what I mean and I'll try and hold this steady so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this like this right, you see that? and I'm just going to turn it half a turn 
and I'm going to do that for each one. All the strings are in, and it's, it's a nice low action, but not too low, it's about right. It feels lovely. It's all good there. Good on the 12. But yeah, that is a marked improvement on the action. Um, I'll do a uh, some more work to this and uh, let you know how it goes. Yeah, I mean, for a quick setup, that's a really good way of doing it, I think. Um, I did have to raise the saddles another half a turn, uh, but, you know, it plays great now. All the strings are on the right height, they follow the contour, uh, the contour of the, the curvature you know, of the neck. It's all good, all the notes ring out all the way up. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And I would gladly um, accept that as a as a good setup. Very very easy method, and I think it works great. I'm going to do it on my other guitars. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, give us a thumbs up if you think it's good. If you don't, uh, tell me. I don't care. Whatever. Try it. Can't hurt. Catch you on the other side. This is the life. You heard it right. Fingers on the trigger Life on a screen For a song to see